Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again with the uh, second sort of update of the uh, Armistice group build hosted by uh, Paul Military Modeler or Military Modeler Paul, I can never remember So, I've just tried something different, I said I'll come back to you when I've done the base cut but I thought I'd try something slightly different with the um, highlights and lowlights if you want to call them uh, As you can see there's, there's varying shades of greys, which are all greys, and what I actually use, I use three, three, va three variations of green, which were from the um, UK German Panzer Grey. Very, I think I used the, well, I used two out of this and one of the other one. I used the um, Dunkel Galb, Dunkel Grau, sorry, uh, base coat. Base paint, the which is AK163. I also use the AK165, which is a highlight, and then I used a Vallejo product, which is unorganized at normal. Yeah, which is I use this is for the highlight for the lightest color as a lot. Which is the uh, ghost grey, which is 74615 by Vallejo. So I thought I'd just give that a whirl, just to sort of see if I can get a better result. And to be honest, I'm, I'm liking what I've what I've got. It's come out really, really well. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to use the life colour set to uh, paint it, which is here. Which I think I showed you last time, which is the uh, British tanks in Europe from. 38 to 45 so I'll be using probably the uh, olive drab and bronze green out of that maybe some other ones yet I'm not too sure so hopefully I'll be able to use them for the base which is shortly not quite ready to do it yet I've got other bits and pieces which I want to uh, knock on the head first yeah, so I'll so give you a bit of a, we can go in a little bit, and you can see where we are. So all the PE is done, apart from a couple of bits where I've got to add, once I've got the, the hull together, this is not all, it's all in part at the moment, the hull, the lower hull and the bottom, so the lower hull and the top hull are not glued yet. I may not even glue them because they're fastened that well with the uh, polycops at the back. So, as you can see, You've got nice colour variations, dark left to dark for underneath the turret, light on the top of the turret, graduation down to the dark on the sides. And same again with the uh, fenders, light on the top and gradually getting darker and darker down to the bottom, which I haven't done, just left at the, uh, the grey, the uh, dungle grau uh, base coat, which I left out like that. I uh, tried my own way of, you know when you get the sprues you get the um, casting letters and things that are actually on the sprue you have to carve them off. Well I tried because I thought well I'll have a go at it. It's not brilliant but there we are. Yeah, we've got casting numbers on the turret where it should be. That's not too bad, it's not brilliant but I thought it had some, something a little different. Seeing as there wasn't any. Probably not, you know, it's not accurate or anything like that, but I thought I'd add them. Obviously you've seen all the aerials and things like that, and the uh, metal barrel for the, uh, the um, machine guns, the Pisa machine guns, which are 100% better, even though I got the holes out of the other ones, but I thought they weren't quite what I wanted. So I uh, added those to it. Just a second, I shall pause you. Yeah, sorry about that. Somebody came in, and anyway, it was. Uh, yeah, so I like I've got I'm quite pleased with that at the moment. So, obviously, all the PE is done and dusted. Apart from the set, a couple of bits that need to be finished um, when the hull is finally together after I've painted it and weathered down there. So, we'll just put that to one side and I'll show you what else I've been doing with this for the uh, hole in the box top. Now, anyhow, right. So, 
what I'm trying, what I'm attempting to do is make one of those camouflage nets that goes around the turret, which is so far so good. It's just a base at the moment. All that is is the um, the glasses wipes that I keep for my tarp sometimes. Well, I've just painted that the uh, olive drab, was it? I'll just check. No, dark green too from the RAF. Uh, dark green too. I just painted like that. Back of the camo netting. is isn't finished yet. Obviously, it needs a lot more weather and done and things like that. But uh, once it goes around the turret, I think it'll look quite nice. Um, started doing a bit of detail painting on the um, storage and things like I'm going to put a little bit of storage on um, other bits and pieces which is there I've got the got the bags the it's like a tow bar fuel can which is in the actual uh, bronze green and then we've got a couple of wooden not very good like that let me just adjust the light let me just adjust the light. Um, yeah, so that's better. The two boxes, they're not finished yet. Just got the base coats down and things like that, but they need finishing. And a bit of storage again on the back of there. And some more storage and hatches for the uh, for the cupola. Got a couple more tarps there. They came with the kit, a bucket a uh, satchel, uh, the hatches, the water wetch and all those and there's all the uh, shovels, I've saved, took all the um, plastic straps off apart from one and cause I'm using the PE the straps and there's a few uh, water cans or fuel cans to go on the rear as well so they're not quite finished, not far off but not quite I might change the handle to be thick and I might put a wire one around here. That's a bit thick for me, that. Right, so what else have I got? I started the weather in the uh, spare tracks. Which are here. I've just got the base grey down and I did the same thing as I'll show you all the tracks in a minute with the uh, main tracks. And just sprinkled and splattered some rust cones over it and I've got dust to go in there obviously when we get near the end so we've got these are spares from go from this way these are spares from the tracks that Paul kind of gave me we've got that one that one that one and that one and they're the two that came with the kit to go on the side so they're just not quite ready yet but they're not far off they're not far off getting now um right there, we'll keep, on the, keep over on the tracks. These are the um, tracks from yeah, AFV tracks, plastic linkable tracks. Nice and, and articulate really well. Which I've done the same thing again. I started with the greys, lights and darks, and I've got nice a nice base colour to start working on. So quite an, an easy to go together. I think it's two two parts per track, which isn't too bad. So you've got some sink marks there, but there's nothing I'll do about those. They're going to be hidden mostly in here. You're going to see the track, and uh, we'll see those. We'll be able to see. Mainly it's the outside that I want to look at, really. So, um, also I've made these as well from the P. Yeah, sorry, the you've seen the uh, the exhaust. That's just about finished. You're only going to see a bit of it, but. It's, it's all right, it's not bad, quite pleased with that. Again, that's not that gone, but it's obviously painted. And let's get these off here, delicately all these. And these are like mud scrapers, I think, which go on the rear of the tank. Where are we at? Can we see those? They're the PE ones, so they can't be attached until the hole's together as well. Yeah, it's got that base coat of the bronze green on there as well. Obviously, they're going to cover in mud and rubbish and things like that. So, there's obviously one each side. And this is the uh, stuff I was on about to cut the, to make the um, strips. It's just the glassy cleaner painted again green, left to dry. And just use exacto knife and start cutting strips. So, 
It'll come in handy for other things. I've got quite a few of them kept from my glasses. So there's some more strips in there as well, which I'm going to add to the, the uh, skirt itself. More in there to add. Um, and again with the figures. I've done nothing really bad from the figures which are really just primed. So we'll put them together. They're just primed. We've got that light and dark again on the figures. Where are we? Where's the light? There we go. Light and dark again on the figures. One driver, oh sorry, one commander and one loader. So that's all I'm going to have on there. I'm going to put this, like I say, I'm not putting the um, cart on. I'll use that somewhere else on another diorama eventually. I'm thinking about putting this on a small vignette. I'm not too sure yet, but I probably will do. Um, what else have we got on here? Also, also I've just got the camo net painted because I'm going to put it on the turret as well with the stri uh, strips on there as well. I've just been painted. I can leave that to dry. And then I can uh, do the same thing again. What we have in here is an extra Paul spotted on one of his, uh, I think it's either one of his books or on the uh, internet that uh, a lot of the Churchills obviously with the invasion had this on the top, the, the star, this was an indicator, which is just out of a space box which is going to go onto the turret as well, over basically over that part there. Well, I can't see, can you? Sorry. I think it's going to go a bit sort of on there somewhere on there like so so we've got that and there's the fire extinguishers which I've uh, cut all the brackets off as well so they're, they're to be added as well I'm not sure what colour they are because I've seen different variations of colours um, predominantly green but there are the odd exception the yellow and I think I've seen red as well um, yeah so that's that's all little bits of PE apart from the metal bits apart from the long metal bits there uh, little P brackets there to go on for the tracks for the spare tracks and this is like a, a hinge to go onto the front somewhere I can't remember exactly where but that's all they're all ready to be put on um, obviously we got the showed you this last time the um, exhaust cover they're all there primed in the greys again keeping it light grey so we got that and all the other pieces that go with it so that's safely away in there so that's where we are at the, with the church at the moment so we're going to finish the um, make a start on the tracks I think next after I've uh, just generally tidied up the uh, bench a little bit um, before we go um, I shall show you how far we've got the sub I haven't weathered it yet because I'm undecided what I'm going to do so I'm going to leave that up to you gents I'll uh, I'll just get the sub, I'll just put this out of the way and I'll get the sub on how I want to display it, a diorama or whatever. I've had a couple of, like, uh, one of my friends has said uh, he'd love to see it in a dry dock so I'll go and hide all the, uh, the work on the uh, lower hull. So everything's been done and deckled on it. Let's just zoom back out. One decal moved as I was, I didn't realise it had moved. Is that one there? It slipped off, so I can't do nothing about that now. These are all conformed really well because that's a dome shape, as you can see, conformed really well. The decals went down no problem at all. The white line is uh, done, I've just masked it all off and primed and painted it with the white. There's a couple of odd, odd marks on it, but generally speaking, it went really well. It's gone down really well, and there's the, uh, the missiles all in there. Some of them are about to be fired. And again, there's the decals and on the front. We've got the white line continuously. These lights are terrible today. You got that chain? I use the uh, satin coat, satin silk, whichever satin. I would have thought it wouldn't be too too drab and to uh, matt I wouldn't have thought but I could be wrong so the decals went down really well on there as well you see we have underneath which is all which is this is a Vallejo um, cool red which is a Vallejo one and this one here is 
is did I show you last time the I think I did didn't I the rubber the, the rubber black tire black from uh, Mr Hobby Mr Colour we're gonna call it so that's going to come out a nice a nice colour I do like that that would work an ideal for the uh, tank uh, tank uh, wheels as well. So what people have suggested a couple of suggestions is either do it in a seascape and lose you know quite a bit of the hull or try and do something like a dry dock this isn't going to be done instantly it's going to be built sort of behind the scenes as we're going along but there are the two options I'd like to go with a seascape or a dry dock I'll leave it up to you whatever whoever you know comes out the most that's what I'll try and do so yeah so I'm quite happy nice little kit obviously not uh, too bad to put together that's all right it's worked quite well nice fit yeah so that's why I've done nothing else with it yet not weathering anything obviously the majority of I think the top by looking at it is like um, is rubber so obviously rubber doesn't wear so that was maybe a bit of um, uh, grime and things like that from the sea but nothing you know no rust or anything like that so but we'll see how we get on I might like put on the bottom if it goes in a dry dock try and do some um, green you know marks on there and maybe a bit of you know seeds seeds what do you call them um, clamps clampets what do you call them can't remember what they're called but barnacles and that's what I did maybe a couple of bar I don't know the main or all the barnacles but I thought we'll try and do something obviously we have the PE propellers which were quite nice to do so yeah overall I'm quite pleased with that I uh, just a couple of shouts out to my mate um, Steve, Mr. Mottram. He hasn't been too good over the last few months. That's why you haven't really seen much of him or heard much of him. He's, I think he's on the mend. So that's for my good friend Steve Mottram. And then I've got Al, Mr. Al Woods, who um, is is now getting his all his matchbox back together again after a slight accident he had. So he's um, building quite a lot of the old matchbox stuff at the moment so and they're coming along with treat so it's Mr Al Woods uh, Al Woods Modelling Mayhem so that's another one and then we have Paul Military Modeler Paul who I'm doing the group build with sorry the uh, the, uh, the Churchill part of his group uh, the uh, Armistice build and my good mate God we're blind just over suddenly gone blank Neil McKay figure painter extraordinaire now he's uh, some of the stuff he does he is amazing he really he does all like Batman's and all the I don't know much about the game inside of the gaming figures and he's come on leaps and bounds really has he's fantastic with his um, his figures so give Neil a good look and have a look at Neil I'll leave, I'll leave the links in the description and then to my mate Gav so he was another figure painter and modeler. He's standing model. He's doing a King Tiger at the moment, which is looking really nice. And he's doing the um, figures for the Armistice Group build. He's doing the one with the horse, and I think it's Lancer. And he showed yesterday with um, two figures, three figures. He's building a small vignette with it with uh, First World War figures: a German, a Tommy, and I think he said a French. Uh, all in having a drink in a in a, uh, in a World War One sort of ditch you know whatever you want to call them but that's going to look quite nice that he was uh, which he showed yesterday and to anybody else that I've uh, associated with and leave kind comments Glenn Mr Halliden from Down 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 Under who was uh, uh, did have a slight accident obviously recently with his arm but I don't know I think he's getting better now so he might be back to uh, doing a bit of modelling again so I think that's about it sorry if I've missed anybody I think I've told me yeah, there's that many that many people who I uh, I'm sub to and watch regularly um, sorry I haven't commented on my last two videos with replies but I, I certainly will get it done I've just been you know with Christmas coming up and we've been busy in the household so but it will get done hopefully this week sometime 
So that's that. Thank you very much for all my new subscribers and of course all my old ones for sticking by me all this uh, length of time. So this is Greg signing off and we'll catch you very very soon.